Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at badges. So a badge is actually it's a very if I just show you you know exactly what I'm talking about. So there are a few different badges. I'm gonna put it within a column. It's usually what you would do. So let's create a heading first. So this is one way that you could utilize a badge. I'm just gonna call it heading. And then you put a span. So this is the actual badge itself is the span. And you'll have a class of badge. And then you put BG for background and let's say put a secondary for this type of color. I'll show you all the different you know background themes that you can use and I'll provide a link to that website as well. So if I go new, so we have the regular heading, but this is the badge, it's just a little bit of styling. So you let me show you it in a button. I think you'll come, you know, become a bit more clearer, you know, the use of this. If I get rid of this, and I'll create a button. Uh, so type of button is going to have a class of BTN. Uh, I, I cover buttons in a separate video, so this video isn't about buttons at all. So feel free to check that out for more information about that. So let's just say it says notification, so you could click, click, click on it and go to all your notifications. So if I put a span in here now, which is very similar, I'm going to put a class of badge as you normally would. I'm going to put a background, but I'm going to put danger this time. This is just you know a different type of theme, and let's say if I put the number four. Save that refresh, we get the button and we have a little badge in there. So I think that you know illustrates you know, more what a badge is. It's usually attached to something else and it provides some sort of like almost like alerting information that you want the user to be attracted to. Someone we're looking at that, we're looking, ah, there's four notifications. Maybe it's for new notifications, for unread notifications, it depends on the way you're designing your website. And you can also have a badge that is a bit more rounded so if you look at this you've got a slight rounded corners but if you want it more rounded what you can do and you can actually make the current badges these spans into the rounded one that i'm going to do but i'm just going to create a new one just to show you so if i put span so you don't need any extra you know you know button or heading to attach this to you could do it on its own potentially let's put a class of badge and you put rounded pill, not ill, pill, and then you just put the BG, you know, the background as you normally would. You want to put info, so it's a different type of color scheme, just, you know, varying it up a little bit. Put information, and if I refresh, we get that. So that is just more of a rounded badge, and like I said, you can apply it to this and to this one right there. So this one is a lot bigger because it is within the heading. So if I was to change this to let's see, H4, for example, it's all a lot smaller. So that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. There'll be links in the description to the GitHub page, you know, the Discord channel where, you know, I'm helping, but there's, you know, hundreds of community members as well. So you can, you know, hit them up so in, in case, you know, I, I'm unable to, you know, respond. And yeah, just in general, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.